What's going on guys, Sean Ross here. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to talk about Google Ads and how to use them to get affiliate sales. Now the thing with Google Ads is that they usually don't approve affiliate websites, links or anything like that. So you have to do build your campaigns in a way that is going to be acceptable to them. And you don't have to use any black hat or anything like that, any black hat methods really. So if you just do this right and do it exactly the way I teach you in this video, um, you're going to be able to just do it right and uh, you don't really have to do anything specific. Part one is going to be basically me teaching you the funnel and part two is going to be basically the advertising itself. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to start by talking about the funnel first. All right, and then uh, we're going to get into some of the landing page stuff because I have to explain those things before we get into ads. All right. So let's talk about the funnel. Now the funnel with uh, Google ads in general is very different, not that different, but a little bit different. You need to have an extra step into it and I'm gonna explain why, all right? So obviously you're gonna start with a landing page because you want to uh, generate leads and you know uh, get information. You don't wanna just give out free clicks basically, right? Um, so yeah, you wanna generate leads and then uh, this is where the basic stuff happens, right? After that, you're gonna send them to a pre-sale page, uh, provide the information, you know, all this stuff. I've, I've talked about pre-sale pages. Uh, and, and also, if you're an anniversary member, you should know about pre-sale pages. There's a lot of information about it in Gold Masterclass. So um, there's that. And then after that, there's an extra step, which is a one-time bonus. Now, the idea with this, as you see, I'm, I, I've colored them yellow. Um, the idea with these two pages is to encourage uh, engagement. Because the thing is, think about it. The traffic that comes, especially from Google, uh, I mean, it's a good traffic. It's targeted usually, right? But uh, what you want to do is you want to convert it to a little bit of, of a more warmer traffic. Because most of the traffic that comes from uh, any advertising platform is kind of cold. Meaning that, well, they're, they're interested that's why they're searching for it, right? But it doesn't mean they're actually gonna buy. So you need to have an extra incentive because pre-sale page, you know, no matter, no matter how well you design your pre-sale pages with headlines and videos and everything, um, it's just, it's the issue with it is that it's, it's a sales page, right? It's designed to sell something. So uh, what you wanna do, you wanna add this extra bonus like one-time bonus to the next page, basically when, when they click the call to action button on the pre-sale page, they're gonna see this one-time bonus, right? They're gonna see this one-time bonus that is going to encourage them to take the action, at least the people who are who have the capability to buy the product you're selling. So that's the idea with this, you know, that this extra step to help you to push your uh, push your sell basically, right? So that's that and then obviously it goes to the fleet page or link or whatever you're selling with. So that's the idea. Now let's talk about the landing page. As you see, I've, I've uh, colored it blue uh, because there's a lot to talk about. Uh, now I, again, I, I talk about landing pages a lot, especially inside adversity, but I wanna talk about some uh, important stuff to do to get approved because getting landing pages approved is a bit tough on Google especially Google ads, all right? So you need to have a certain um, a standards. Now, I'll, I'll explain why, because there's a, there's a reason behind each and every single one of them. And uh, most of the stuff that I'm gonna share right now are basically just, you know, Google ad rules and stuff like that. But some of them actually help you to convert better as well. Uh, just get more sales and leads and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. So I have two examples, you know, I just wanted to put it in a nice visual way so you guys actually uh, can see this better. So we have on the left, the bad landing page example, which is not gonna get approved and not gonna get any good conversions. And we, on the right, we have the good landing page example, which is gonna get approved and hopefully have a better conversion. And uh, now one of the things that I want you to understand before we even talk about this stuff is that you always want to um, test your own landing pages, like A-B test everything, stuff like that. That's very, very important. You know, A-B testing is the key. Uh, if you're not doing that, you're basically just throwing money uh, out. So you don't want to run an ad without testing different var variations of a page. It's very important. So, um, so let's talk about the bad landing page. I'm gonna start from the top, which is uh, the headline, all right? so. Here's an example headline for a weight loss product, right? Now this is a bad example. This is not gonna get approved because 
as you see, we're guaranteeing something. Now, Google hates that. Google hates it when you talk about numbers or guarantee something. Like, hey, this is going to help you lose 20 pounds in the next 20 days, or guaranteed weight loss method is about to change your life. You know, spammy stuff, you know. And one of the things you want to understand, just be, you know, beside the fact that Google is not going to approve this, is that people are not going to fall for this stuff because obviously these are very, like, unscientific headlines, right? I mean, who is going to say look at that and believe that hey this is going this weight loss method is going to help them lose 20 pounds in 20 days right that's never going to happen so um, again the idea here is to be realistic you know don't insult people with your headlines that's that's the whole thing so um be realistic with your headlines don't guarantee anything don't uh, share any unrealistic numbers or stuff like that so yeah, um, and next one again, the good landing page example is, for example, this one. This natural and easy to implement diet plan can change your life. Again, take, look at the wording here. Can change your life, is about to change your life. See the difference here? Is about to change your life is guaranteed, right? But can change your life is not guaranteed. These small stuff, these small changes, again can be the difference between getting good conversions and getting approved on google and you know not getting approved so yeah i'll keep that in mind and next one is not a google thing it's let's just say um conversion factor that i have actually been testing a lot uh now that is having a video on a landing page i don't i generally don't recommend i mean the, i have i think one or two landing pages where i have a video on him and there's a special reason for that i'll explain but you know having a video on a landing page is generally a bad idea and google sometimes gets peaky on that because they don't like that sometimes and not always but again it's just like, like a more of a conversion factor so again instead of having a video you can have a image all right that works and that works pretty well so here's why um you know the thing is with video is that when you have a landing page, you want to make that landing page as simple as possible. One of our best converting landing pages is for a program called High Ticket Bootcamp. Okay, and uh, this program is like a fifty dollar program. And what we do is we have a very simple landing page up front, which is just a simple headline, no images, no nothing. It's just a white simple headline with a button, and that page converts at seventy three percent on average. That's insane, seventy-three percent. Now, here's why that page works very well because it's simple. You know, we don't have any videos, nothing extra. And one of the things that really you gotta understand when it comes to landing pages is that you want to keep it simple. You don't want to get give them too much information to confuse them. Because think about it: what's the point of a landing page? The point is to get them to put their name and email, and you can do that with a simple headline. You don't need any extra, you know, stuff. You don't need any extra um, content to convince them. Again, don't complicate. When you have a video on a page, you complicate your landing page. You get, you give them too much to think about, right? And again, uh, with some of the reasons that you can you can have a video on a page would be like maybe it's a complicated funnel or it's a complicated thing that you got to actually talk about something in a video or you got to give a more explanation on what they should do you know have a uh, landing page which sends some which sends the uh, visitor to a four step four day training program and uh, in that landing page we have a video it's like a one minute video and again you don't have to watch that video to oh, sign up for it but in that landing page um I in that video I talk about hey uh, what is this training and you know what to expect because I because my goal in that video and the landing page is to get people who are really going to actually go through that training the four day training uh, to sign up otherwise we don't want people who are gonna watch the first video and just give up right so uh, that's the whole point behind that video to just get get them ready for what what they're about to see what they're about to get in this training system so that's why we have that video again you need your video needs to have a reason so that's it. let's not dwindle on that too much but yeah um then comes to the uh the call to action right so that's very important now a bad call to action or like a um kind of a you know 
form field basically can be where you have a naked form field meaning that uh, on the page uh, the, when they land, they're going to be able to see that, you know, there is a section, they put their name and email, you know, the, the, we call this naked form. So basically, again, they're going to see the fields the, where they have to put their name and email. Now, this is an old thing. Uh, I see a lot of people still use it, but you don't want to have your name and email immediately pop up on a page. Now, this is a proven fact and it definitely makes a difference. So what you want to have is, again, on a good landing page example, you want to have a button that pops open a form, okay? That's very important. You want to have a button that pops open the form where they put their name and email. So make sure you do that again. Every single landing page builder these days does this, you know, the um, button, the pop-up button. So I just wanted to point that out. That's very important. Uh, again, that's and that's an extra step right there, uh, like an engagement step. So the last thing is uh, just not having any disclaimers or footers on the end of the page. This is a bad ex bad landing page example. And a good landing page example would be a full disclaimer, very important, and also uh, links to other pages. Now this is another bonus thing. So having links to other pages uh, gives you a lot of benefits. So one of the things that Google likes is um, one of the things that Google likes is the uh, is is advertise, advertisers who have full functioning websites. Okay, very interesting stuff because it's something I've tested myself. So if you just have a simple landing page, advertising is going to be a little bit tough on Google, especially Google search. And but when you have a full website or a kind of a semi-functioning website you know when you have a home page you have maybe about us page something like that you know like a contact page or something like that again uh, a couple of pages on that domain uh, what the what you're going to tell google is that this is not just a landing page this is an actual website and that gives you extra points with google it's going to be much easier to get approved so that's a very important factor. You should definitely consider that, all right? So these are stuff that you gotta remember on your landing pages. Again, bad uh, you know, stuff that you can do or stuff that is gonna get you disapproved is a bad headline or a guaranteed style headline, a video and a no disclaimers and you know, a conversion factor would be like the, you know, uh, that pop, not having the pop-up opt-in form. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, these are very important stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some value from it. Keep in mind that the next part is coming out soon. That's where we do all the ads, all right? Because in this video, I was focusing mainly on uh, the funnel itself and stuff that you got to understand if you want to do ads about affiliate products on Google, all right? So yeah, so next part, we're going to do the ads itself. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Leave a comment in the middle what you think about this video. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. And also, if you want to learn more about this stuff, you got to check out the link in the description. And the thing is, um, when it comes to making money as an affiliate, um, there isn't just one strategy. First of all, you got to know what strategies work, and then you got to choose the right strategy based on the product you promote based on the category, based on the niche. So uh, that's something you're gonna be able to learn inside the Gold Masterclass. I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description. And also, uh, you know, there's a lot more detail on that page as well. So that's something you're gonna be able to learn inside Gold Masterclass because uh, you're gonna learn all the different strategies. You're gonna see it all in detail, step by step, click by click. And also you're gonna see all the traffic sources that I use for these specific strategies. So it's pretty cool. And there's a lot of done for you template and stuff in there that you're gonna be able to use. And also the thing is with Gold Masterclass, you're gonna be able to join our community. Um, you have all access to all the coaching and everything. So it's pretty amazing. You should definitely check it out. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. If not, I'll see you in the next video.